morning y'all so i did a flea to the sea it is going to be in the 90s where i usually hang out and i am not interested in hanging out when it is in the 90s it is a heat advisor it's not an extreme heat warning but still and yes there are places i could go inside but a lot of them are not really the best places for me to focus on work and get things done and to be honest right here i have faster internet way faster upload and it's easy for me to focus with a nice white noise of the ocean the breeze it's super cool it's lovely overcast from the marine layer i was trying to upload video yesterday both using my phone as well as using the wi-fi at the library terribly slow upload speeds i couldn't load up, upload anything to patreon which is what i was trying to do so yeah i have much better internet speeds here at the beach i take my vitamins which i didn't do earlier i was driving here right i take magnesium every day and then i take calcium with vitamin d and vitamin b12 now i used to get my vitamins from care of but they went under so i still have some left that just happened but i'm gonna have to switch over to get my vitamins off from somewhere else first thing I did today besides eating and driving here and taking a shower was to upload stuff to Vimeo. Vimeo, I think is how you say it, which is a video hosting site. So Patreon actually has a way for you to upload videos straight to Patreon. But first, the videos can only be under 10 minutes. And second, it hardly works. It just is terrible. Um, that's actually one of the great things about YouTube is YouTube, generally speaking, works well. Not always, but generally speaking. So anyway, I'm going to try, I'm doing a seven day trial of Vimeo. So I am uploading that. Obviously I can't show you that because it's on my phone. And so I'm using my phone. I can't record things while I'm doing something on the phone, you know, someday, hopefully later this year, I will buy the new iPhone and I might actually keep this one to use as my second camera. I have other cameras, but using a phone is really the easiest way to film. One thing I do every morning is I go through all my money stuff, all my bank accounts, personal thing and businessy things. For my personal stuff, I keep all of my finances in notebook because doing it with pen and paper actually helps me 
I don't know, make the money more real. For my business stuff though, I have online accounting. So I look at every single account that I have, um, debit card, credit card, whatever, make sure there's nothing wrong on it, and then also put in the money that I spent. Um, so you're looking at my personal checking account. What's come out of it is the Planet Fitness, which is twenty five oh five. I think the actual fee is twenty four ninety nine, but there's like tax or something. I don't know. And so Planet Fitness came out, so that's twenty five bucks a month. Nothing else came out in the last couple of days. And then for my debit card, I spent some money on things yesterday. Let's see what or I got put in there. That one did. All right. So yesterday. I went to, let's say it was a 17th. I went to Target, that was 32.43. I went to Trader Joe's, that was 32.68. Weirdly that both of them were 32. Actually, all that stuff is groceries. Um, I got groceries at, Tar at Target. There are certain groceries that are actually cheaper than the regular grocery store. There's that. So all my financial stuff is done, is checked over and everything is okay. This is also really important because I know like, oh, did something unexpected come in and I've actually been, someone stole my car or I've been hacked or whatever. And then also because I wanna know just the general status of everything in my business. So then I mark down on my little, I have a little habit tracker that has activity, every doing activity every day, which I have not been doing. Activity could include exercise, it could include going for a walk, hike, whatever, you know, or could include doing physical activity like helping my son move. Okay, I didn't have to exercise those days. That was carrying stuff up two flights of stairs. Yep, that was exercise. Um, magnesium and my vitamins, because I put that separate because my magnesium's in a bottle. My other vitamins from care of are in that little packet, which of course that will change in the future and I'll probably get a pill organizer for it, but, it, but right, right now that's how it is. Then I have financial business, financial, which I just marked off. And then I have my prescriptions and my allergy medicine, which I do in the evening. So I make sure that's all on there. I also have a place to put on my hormone patch um, for perimenopause stuff and hot flashes. And I need to do that this morning, which I will do probably next. But I'm not going to show you that because it's going to go on my stomach and it's a little bit getting into my business. Okay, so now I have the videos on Vimeo. So you can see these are the two videos that I uploaded and have things scheduled out to post on Patreon. The one just went live today and then this one is scheduled to go on July 19th, which is tomorrow and it will go live. Uh, hey all, so something that I haven't talked about yet on the channel, but I probably will be doing soon is how I'm switching over to wool like i'm actually enjoying it i it's kind of fun to upload content that literally no one is watching because they haven't found it yet <laughs> so like when i first started my youtube channels like when i first started this channel especially i was just uploading it to the ether for nobody to see you know what i mean and there's something very like pure about that like and then the very first people discover it and then you have those first 10 people or whatever and then then the first hundred, you know, and then it goes from there. But there is something kind of fun in the, about the very beginning when you're starting something brand new and no one is seeing it yet. No one's judging it yet. No one's commenting on anything yet. It's really just, it's really just this like fun little thing, you know? So there is something really nice about that process. So what I'm doing with the Patreon, the stuff that I'm uploading so far is really it's unedited, zero editing. I'm going straight from my phone straight to VME, Vimeo and to Patreon. And it's also almost completely real time, if not same day, real time. It's not just videos, it's photos too. And I might write actual posts and things like that. I haven't figured out exactly all the stuff, but it's just gonna be both videos and photos. And it's stuff that like, I'm only doing really one video a week on the YouTube channel, be just from a perspective of content editing, what makes sense on YouTube, thing, length of the videos, things like that. For this, because I'm not editing anything, I can just shoot, upload, shoot, upload. The videos will be shorter, but they'll be way more often. You see what I'm saying? So that's kind of what I'm playing around with there. I also am gonna be putting up more content on my Instagram but it's not gonna, it is, will be edited. And 
it, I haven't gotten to that point yet because what I'm actually planning to do is a weekly series on there and I'm not doing it quite yet because it's going to be about nature journaling and stuff as well as just posting random photos and things that I already done. All right, I'm going to let y'all go and get back to this. I just moved myself to the other side of the parking lot. You can see the ocean's way over there, but there's people now. And I mean, obviously it's not very many people, but I want to like cook lunch and not be distracted. And so that's one of the reasons I'm way over here. You can still see the ocean right there. Isn't that nice? But yeah, I'm, I'm getting hungry. It's only, it's only 1030 AM, but I ate breakfast at seven, so I'm hungry. And I even had a snack. My how my eating works is I very much am a front loading in the morning with breakfast and second breakfast and stuff versus in the evening. It's better for me from a blood sugar perspective. And frankly, since my metabolism is up in the morning, I'm a morning person. I'm just much more hungry in the morning. Okay, I put my hair up so I can cook food. Now I need to go get the stuff out to cook. I actually like to cook just literally on the ground. I have had a table some, and you know, sometimes I go places like picnic tables. There are picnic tables over there, but then I have to carry the stuff all the way over there. I don't want that. So I just set it up on the ground. All right. So this is a bit of a mess. <laughs> We're not doing hot dogs today, but I have the hot dog stuff. Let's put this here maybe, and maybe that'll keep it from getting smashed. That needs to get put away in my storage. This and this need to get taken up to where I'm gonna be cat sitting and that will go up there too. So let's get all that stuff out of the way so we can get out the stove. All right, got the stove down there. So now let's get out the stuff that I need to cook. I'm just gonna be reheating something so it's pretty simple. Oh, cool. get out of the way. Need that stuff, put that over here. And then I'm gonna need obviously the propane and some of the stir stuff with and this and then to be able to light this all on fire. All right, now let's get the food out that I'm going to cook. Another way that was air drying. All right, use this pepper, use this onion, and then here are the leftovers we're gonna cook. All right, gonna add some onions in there and I already have the oil. hard to do this when you're cooking and it's windy by the ocean. So I got some onion in there. Now I'm going to add some bell pepper that I got at Trader Joe's yesterday. And I wasn't planning on making what I'm making, which is really just doctoring up some leftovers that I got from my significant other. This is before some, I bought the onion in the, well, the onion I already had. I always have onion, but I bought the pepper for another purpose. But Free food, that's good. It's not something that I'm gonna turn down. Okay, the onions and the peppers are going. Now I have rice and hot smoked sausage. I haven't decided what kind of a flavor profile I'm gonna use for this. I am going to cut up the sausage and I want it to cook quickly and also to make it easier for eating. So I don't have to cut things when I am eating. That will work better, but I haven't figured out what sauce or like spices or whatever I'm going to use. The hot smoked sausage is, has a neutral quality. It's just smoked and hot. Like it's not going to have Italian seasonings or Mexican seasonings or anything particular like that. So I could kind of go whichever direction I want. I originally plan on adding soy sauce and making it kind of an Asian thing, but I actually think I'm going to make it kind of a Mexican thing. I think that sounds better. I have hot like I have some La Victoria that I could use. And I also have some cheese that I could put on. Okay, so I'm gonna add some 
tacos for the day. Some of the love it for you. Generally, what I do for reheating food is I add a little bit of water and I'm kind of letting it steam to reheat. Okay, there we go. So I'm leaving, I'm leaving this out here so it cools off before I put it away so I don't have my car burst into flames. Shut my door and I have so much of a breeze because that's a little bit much. I would like to have some sparkling water, but my sparkling water is way far back and it hasn't been put away. So that's just the way it is. I didn't put cheese on this. That way I don't have to take a pill. Just makes it that much easier. So let's go ahead and see how is this. Mm. Yeah, that's nice. Spicy, filling, warm, good food. Okay, so cooked food, cleaned everything up, put it back away, had my dessert. Now it's about looking at my list. What are the things to do today? So I have an organizer that has, I organize my habits. I organize my weekly goals. I have to-do lists that aren't on any specific day. And then I have things to do on each day. I totally get lovely dopamine hits from crossing things off a list. If I did something that's not on my list, I will add it to my list so I can cross it off. So today, the two things are outline my long form videos for my law firm that I'm going, law firm YouTube channel that I'm going to record next week when I am cat slash house sitting. And the other thing is tidying up the car, which has some wackiness going on in here. I really need to do the outlining first because otherwise I will procrastinate it and not do it. And it has to be done before I'm going to shoot the videos. So for my videos for this channel, for my videos for my law channel, I don't script anything word for word, read off a teleprompter, any of that kind of stuff. What I do is I make an outline. Now, if it's a video like this, that is a vlog of a day, then I, I, I have zero planning that goes into it. I do have a little bit of stuff in my head of things I'm going to shoot or whatever, but that's it. But for videos that are like the 10 things about this or what I think about that or how this has worked over the years or the things I love about this or, you know, whatever, why I do something, I do outline some bullet points and it will be, you know, I'll put it in my notebook and it will fill up sometimes just a little third of a sheet or sometimes it's a full sheet. Third of the sheet is probably a five to 10 minute video. A ha you know, then a sh two thirds of a sheet is more like 15 to 25 minute video. And then a full page is one of those videos that will take me a while. Um, now on this channel, the videos that are purely me just talking in one sitting are typically our videos that are five to 15 minutes long. On my other channel, my legal channel, I'll have videos that are me just talking about something that are like a tutorial or something where they could be 10 minutes, they could be 20, they could be in 45 minutes long. And a lot of times if it's more like in the 20 to 45 minutes long, I'm doing a tutorial where I will have a second camera that really is just screen capture of whatever I'm doing so I can show people how to do it. Next week, since I'm going to be at a house slash cat sitting at my son's from Sunday to Friday, I am going to record content for my legal channel, edit it and upload it. My son has amazingly fast internet. So I'm going to utilize that internet to upload really big giant files. I will probably also edit and upload this. Um, I might have edited it already, but um, I'll probably upload edit and upload this because it will create a really big file as well. <laughs> that will be better to upload there. My son has fiber, so and so they have super, 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 super fast internet, both download and upload. So yeah, I'm gonna outline videos for my law channel. Some of them are gonna be like I make the most money on tutorials. One tutorial that is my number one video on that channel that I make the most money from, and also is the video that gets the most views and historically has over a hundred thousand views, is my video of how to file a trademark application, which is a screen capture video tutorial of how to file a trademark application. But but the trademark office is beta testing an entirely new system. So my video will be moot soon. I don't know when they're gonna actually launch it probably in a few months. So what I'm gonna do, one of the videos I'm gonna shoot is a first look at the beta test. And, and how I do those videos is one of two ways. Sometimes I'm filing a trademark application or some other trademark filing for one of my own trademarks and then I just screen capture the whole thing. Sometimes I don't have anything to file. So I file a fake one, you know, and I'm not gonna actually file it. Like I don't do the last thing where you pay the money or anything. I'm just using it at to get through everything but the very last screen of something I make up. And then I just talk about 
everything I think about along every step of the way. These are really, really helpful videos for people. And also they're not that actually hard to make and edit. The The big issue is because there's two cameras, they create gigantic, gigantic files. So I'm uploading something that is many, many gigs and it can just take a really long time to upload unless I'm on very, very fast internet. I also am record, I have recorded a few of those in my car, but typically I've been recording them when I'm at a hotel or I'm at somebody's house or back when I had an apartment. So that's kind of one of the reasons that I have been thinking about renting space for my business is so I can record those videos. Not these videos, these are supposed to be, you know, as I'm traveling, but my videos for my other business, for my law firm channel. All right, I'm gonna start working outlining, which is pretty much just gonna be me sitting here thinking, and writing stuff in a notebook. One other thing too is I actually also talk to myself when I'm when I'm working, which is one of the reasons I like to park really far away when I'm gonna be thinking, because I'll think out loud. One of the things I like about recording videos like this is this is me thinking out loud and you happen to just be watching and listening to it. So what other stuff am I gonna do? Hmm. All right, so here are all the videos that I decided. I have a couple of them that are going to be for later because I'm not ready to actually do the thing, but I have three tutorials, three videos that are kind of a higher priority, and then I have a rest of them. And that's what the star symbols are, which makes sense in my brain. So yeah, like th so this is what I do the f when I'm going to record videos for my law channel is I first make a brainstorm list and then I'm going to outline. Maybe, hopefully I can get those all done in a day. I'm thinking, so like normally... When I'm in my car or I'm in a hotel room or whatever, I can't record that many videos because setting up the place and like making sure it's quiet and like all this stuff means I can only shoot video for a very short period of time because circumstances change and then I have to redo everything and you know. But when I'm at my son's place, what I'm hoping is I can kind of set up where I'm going to film and then I can record a lot more than just one or two videos. Also, I don't have, like, I can just get somewhat convenience food to eat while I'm recording videos. Like, what I'm actually planning to do while I'm there is have a couple of the days where I just go to the grocery store and I get, you know, stuff that goes into the oven that I can just eat, like popcorn shrimp and french fries and stuff and I'll get like a side salad so I'll have some veggies but things that'll be super easy zero hassle zero work to cook and and that way I can just spend my time doing this stuff so now that I did that now I deserve a break and what does it mean for me to do a break I mean probably what I'm gonna do is play on my phone for a little bit <laughs> and yeah, maybe I'll work on my next thing on my list after I play my phone a little bit, which is to tidy the car. It's good to switch from a intellectual thing to a physical thing. And then I can come back and work on outlining. I don't know if I'll get all the, I don't know if I'll get all the outlining done today anyway. All right, let's go do something. Let's tidy up the car. So one thing that's very true about living in a vehicle is while I don't have a bathroom to clean or, or a lot of stuff like that to deal with, I'm actually always tidying up my car. And when I say tidying, I don't mean like the kind of daily tidy that you should do, which I actually really don't because it's not like that. It's that I'll get stuff out of my storage, or I'll buy something at the store or whatever, and it doesn't yet actually have a place to live at yet. So then I have to figure out where is it gonna go. So let's see. First, I'm gonna put the cheese balls right here. You're gonna be resting on the cheese balls, okay? That's where you're hanging out. I've actually been buying my chips in like these big ridiculous containers and then portioning them out because they don't get squished when they're in hard containers like this. You know what I mean? Okay. So I'm going to put together some stuff that I know is just going to go to the city with me when I go to house it. So in here I have some overflow food that doesn't fit where my regular food is and I don't know where these should go. It's where the other ones went. Th these are glass, so they're breakable. I haven't really settled on the configuration going forward for my car. So that's why I haven't shot a camper tour because I'm like, oh, I don't like that, I don't like that. You know, I keep changing things. It's because of it, I haven't shot the actual tour yet. Probably once I get back from 
my house slash cat sitting. Then I'm gonna have a while. And so I haven't decided what I'm gonna do. I may start my project of California. So I'm gonna do a project of, no, of project in November, December in Nevada, where I'm planning to go to every state park and every rest stop slash viewpoint, whatever, in Nevada in like the period of two months. I'll probably come back here like once or something during that trip, but most of the trip I'll just stay out there. And it won't be a huge amount of travel actually over two months because Nevada is not really that big when it comes down to it. Now for California, going to every state park and every rest stop, the rest stop's actually not that big of a deal, but every state park, woo, I, there's hundreds of them. So I actually first need to just make a chart and things, but I may do that, but over a period of time, not all at once. But I was actually playing with the idea of doing that. Okay, I'm back in the car and now is the deal with the front. Well, first thing I'm gonna do is have some of my sparkling water. This is Trader Joe's lime sparkling water. This is my favorite one. I tried the more brand name ones, whatever. Mm, Trader Joe's is the best. That's true for a lot of Trader Joe's things. They are the best. Oh, it does make me have hiccups. Though. So up here, this is probably the hardest thing part for me to organize is the front because in some ways this is like a, just a junk container. It's a hodgepodge of an organization. It actually isn't. There actually is, is method to this madness up here. But what happens is, is more and more stuff randomly gets dumped in here and then it's overflowing and kind of unusable. So what I want to do is go through all this stuff and put things, some of the things that are actually up here actually go somewhere else. Like if for some reason, there's a pair of clean wool underwear up here. It's probably because I hand wash them and then lay them out to dry. And then this one was probably laying up here and then just is like randomly sitting here because that makes sense. So this needs to get put in where my wool clothes are that are clean. Um, I also have things to put in recycling like this, you know, so it's just a lot of stuff that, that doesn't have a place to go. Um, I have things like, here's my a pair of compression socks. And the reason they're up here, not with my clothes, is because I don't like put them on for the whole day. What happens is, is that I realize that my ankles or legs are swelling and then I put them on then. And then, so it's good for them to be up here. You know, I have to go find them because then I won't do it. You know, and there's just stuff like, like my dryer sheets. Is there anywhere else for them better to go? Or really it's easy, better for me to just find them here. There's some people who will leave comments on my channel and be all like, your stuff is so unorganized. You have way too much stuff, whatever. And so I totally have way too much food. I definitely have, like part of my anxiety disorder is an anxiety about running out of food. And I, I'm, I'm right now I'm trying to deal with it in a practical kind of cognitive behavior therapy kind of sense in the sense of you have enough food. There's always more food you can buy. You can go to a store. You're not in a very remote places. You know, I may be called Elizabeth off grid, but it doesn't mean I'm off like the food grid. You know, I don't need enough food for like months because I'm not gone for months at a time. I'm always within a couple of days of going to a store. If not right then, I could go to a store, especially right now, like during the summer, I'm not really doing a lot of remote stuff because the remote places I love to go to are typically the desert and it's 120 degrees there and I would like to avoid death. So not going there, which is one of the reasons that I've kind of been thinking that fall, winter, spring are my travel times, partially because I would much rather be traveling and have it be cold than be hot. I think cold is a lot easier to deal with as long as it's not like super extreme, it's not negative 30 or something. But, but also because a lot of places I love to go are the desert. And so during the summer, they're not habitable for me. So, now, I know there are some people who live in a vehicle or a small minivan or, or then who are getting these ACs. Those ACs, though, still do require a lot of power, even the new ones. And I say they require a lot of power. I don't mean compared to a house AC or compared to an RV AC. I mean, compared to not having anything, compared to a fan, right? And they take a lot of space. I think it could be great for a van, uh, but where does this thing go in the car right so i don't i don't see myself getting one of those i don't think it makes any sense i'll just not go to those places when it's super super hot i think in the month of august 
I'm going to go back to my whole eating everything in my pantry thing, which I kind of have not really been worrying about for the last month or two because I've just been really busy helping my son move and fix their place, their new place, and also just doing other life things and working on stuff on the channel and, and all that. But in August, I'm kind of going back to regular life. I also think I'm going to do a little bit of traveling in August in California. Like I was talking about going to all the California state parks and all the California rest stops. I think that would be, uh, I could do that in sections, like separate out parts of California into sections and then do each section. One of the reasons there's so many state parks in California is because of all the beaches. Each beach tends to be its own state park. And so that's a lot. Now the parking pass that I have, this one, the Golden Poppy actually does not go for everything. Now I haven't decided if I'm going to include the off-highway motor vehicle recreational areas. They're technically part of the California state park system, but I, 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 this pass doesn't work for them and I wouldn't be, any, I wouldn't really be doing stuff there. So I'm thinking I won't, but I, I have to make a rule like for the national parks, for the United States national parks, I'm just putting on my list, the national parks. Now I'm actually going to the monuments, like as I see them, but they're not on the list uh, in a completion way. Um, and I'm not going to all the historical sites, even though I'll go to some of them, I'm not going to all of the other federal properties, even though I do go to a lot of them and a lot of them are wonderful places to go like Mojave and things where it's like places where that are super interesting and beautiful. And there's hardly anybody there because it's not a national park. So anyway, I think that sounds really exciting actually to do that in California. So I think one of the other things I'm going to do today, it's not going to be on the list because it doesn't have to be done today because the outlining needs to be done today, but is to actually, let's see, see if I have already made a spreadsheet of all the California state parks or not. And if not make one and then all and like find a list somewhere and then make that and then make that list of all the California rest stops and start figuring out which ones I've ever been to, which ones do I have video of or whatever, which ones I can go back to, that kind of a thing. And then putting them in sections. Cause that's what I did with the national parks is I put them in sections. Like I have a section for the, you know, North and Southeast and Texas. And you know what I mean? Like I broke things down into kind of logical parts of the country that made sense in my head. So when I'm like, oh, I'm going to go to Colorado. Oh, what ones in Colorado have I not done? Not just by state, more by area, because I would put like Nevada and Utah in the same and Arizona and New Mexico all kind of together. Right. All right. I'm going to get to organizing up here because if I don't, I won't ever do it. All right, so here's what it looks like right now. It's just kind of piled up here. Okay, it actually doesn't look that much better, but it looks but it looks better to me. <laughs> that's what's important. There's things that I don't really have a place for it to go, and that's what this box kind of is. It's my junk box, not because the stuff in it is junk, because it's stuff that doesn't have another place. It's like you just throw it all together. I did pull out a bunch of things to go into recycling. And also some things to take with me when I go to house it, um, because I can, I want to have like my things to go walking with my water bottle. This has the makeup in it. Cause I wear lipstick when I film for my other channel, you know, that kind of stuff. So here's the official California state park map. You can see there are a lot of state parks. That's just the top half of California. And then here's the Southern half. So yeah, this is not a project to do. <laughs> all at once. But there are different kinds. There's state beaches, state recreational areas, state historic monuments, state historic park, state park, state reserves, wayside, state vehicular recreation area, unclassified state park units. Am I, would I just do the state parks? Those are state reserves. Let me kind of look around. I mean, this would, this would, I would not include state beaches if I did this. There are like beach areas that are state parks like Pont Lobos. Well, that's a state reserve. Yeah. I'm actually kind of looking at them to see what things would I want to include. What are they called? Every state and the federal government, they all do things a little bit different. State reserves have a quality that almost reminds me of monuments. So there's a state historical monument, but like a state and in, in, of my, how things being called a monument is kind of weird in the United States because it doesn't actually mean literally a monument to anything. It's just a site that it's run in some ways like a national park, but it doesn't need an act of Congress. 
the president can just make it be a national monument. So that means it's much easier to get passed if the president and Congress are not getting along for whatever reason, which seems like to happen all the time. Now, it doesn't happen all the time just to nowadays. It historically happened all the time. <laughs> it happened all the time from the very beginning. Okay, so if I was looking on here, State Park, State Park, State Park, State Park. The blues are the recreational areas and state beaches. State SP, State Park, State Reserve. State Park, State Park, Reserve. State Park, Reserve. Like Point Lobos being a reserve and not a park. It's interesting because I always just thought of it was as a park. But in the meanwhile, I need to go over and use the restroom. Before I do my next thing. There's actually a fair number of people here, so there's a lot of people kind of loitering outside the restroom, so that means they're probably busy. One thing I do is I have this. I have my hand sanitizer. I bring that with me. If I ever go to these random porta potties, I can sort of clean my hands. So one of the things I'm doing right now is I'm also washing a little bit of my wool clothing. I use this lanolin based stuff to wash it with. It is biodegradable. It doesn't need to be rinsed. It's actually reintroducing lanolin back into the fabric, which is awesome. It kind of makes it smell like wet sheep when you're washing it, but then when it's dry, it's like a neutral smell. So that works out great. So I've been soaking the stuff in here and it kind of absorbs all the water you <laughs> use. Now I'm going to lay them out with my microfiber towel and kind of roll them up to absorb some of the water and then I'll lay them out to dry during the day. Yeah, the biggest reason I really like the wool clothes is that I can just hand wash them myself as I'm traveling. It's just kind of like a part of my day. Now, I will eventually machine wash them like every so often. Like I'm thinking maybe every, I don't know, month or two machine wash them all. But I don't plan to put them in the dryer. You technically can according to the companies, but I don't think that's a good idea. All right. Now, so my other thing to do today officially is to outline those videos. It is 1.53, so almost 2 o'clock. So at least I want to outline the first set of videos. Um, I'm not going to make myself outline all 11 videos today. But I think first I'm going to work on the California Park list for a little bit. And then I will circle back and do my work. Okay, so there are 89 state parks and then just... 16 reserves, natural reserves. So that's doable. That's very similar to national parks. Just moved my car to a new location because that truck parked right by me, like facing me, like right there. And I'm just like, what the heck? I, there's huge lot, huge lot that you can see nobody. Then you have to come park right next to me. It makes me crazy sometimes. Um, so anyway, I moved my car over here to where there's nothing. Like they could have parked right here where there was literally no cars for like three rows. But no, they have to park right facing me. And they're like, have weird energy, making weird noises. No, I'm not interested in that. Also, I'm hungry, so I'm irritable. <laughs> I love that. So I am going to make myself something to eat. So what I'm going to make myself is one of my new things that I love to do is I get these little salads that are like these little sa bag salads. You can get them usually for about two bucks each. And then I use that not just to have a salad, but also to make a wrap or a sandwich that I put, you know, turkey on or whatever and mayonnaise. But then I add some of the salad to the sandwich. And so my sandwich has greens on it. So these, I like the Caesar one the best. And then I have lunch meat, of course, and I have mayonnaise. So I'm going to put together a wrap sandwich, and, actually two wraps, and then also my salad. Okay, here's the beginning of my sandwiches or wraps. And I just mix it all up inside the bag and use the bag as a bowl. You see, now I have these to wrap up and then I have a nice little side salad. Now I do have to remember to take a pill because this is Caesar dressing. So it has dairy in it and also has Parmesan cheese on it. These these little mini chopped kits are from Taylor Farms. I'll show you the bag. Yeah, I really like them, especially the Caesar one's my favorite, and I think it works really well for this purposes. But there's a couple other um, 
dressing flavors too. So the dressings in there, the lettuce, some cheese, garlic, crouton crumbles. Like they're not croutons, they're like little teeny bits. But in the beginning, I, first time I tried them, I was really surprised, but I like them now. Wrap up my sandwich, which I slight, or my wrap, I mean, which I slightly overstuffed. So I outlined seven videos, three tutorials and four more like non-tutorial me just talking videos that's awesome i have four more to do but right now i'm taking a little break i'm just like sitting back and you know sitting to the ocean or whatever <sighs> i'm doing a good job good job next week i will be recording all this stuff the tutorials will take me a long time to re to record because they will they literally just take a while to do because i do the tutorials in real time of me actually filing something or whatever. The other videos shouldn't be very long videos, so I should be able to pop out a whole bunch of them at once, assuming I feel okay, you know, etc. But that should be very possible to do. Oh, that's the same thing with editing them. Like my, some of my videos on that channel are five, 10 minute long videos. I can edit those in 10 to 20 minutes. I mean, just bam, I can edit those so fast. They're small files to upload. I can do a ton of them in a day. The tutorials may be 20, 30, 40 minutes with multiple cameras. It'll take me hours to edit each one. You know, it's a lot. And it's a lot of mental effort to do that. It's weird. You wouldn't necessarily think editing those kind of videos would take a lot, but they do. Now, the, the thing that videos that take the most energy to edit are these kind of videos. The day in the life or on a trip vlog kind of videos. Because while for this one, there's a fair amount of just me talking. I have to cut out a whole bunch of stuff. So you may not seem like I'm cutting out, but I'm cutting out a lot of stuff. And there's B-roll and there's music to put in and all these things. It's, it's very much enjoyable to edit, but man, it does take a while. Okay, that was the work for today. So I got those videos outlined. It is 16.07, so a little after four o'clock, got my work done. Very glad. Now tomorrow, which I'm not going to be filming for this. This is a day in life, not two days in life. I'm going to be working on cleaning out my inbox for my legal channel and my law firm and client work. I have a couple of filings that someone, people finally got back to me on so I can go ahead and do those filings on behalf of clients. And I have some stuff to get to clients. I kind of want to clear that out before next week. So next week I can focus on making videos. So that is what tomorrow is going to be about. But as far as today, I am closed for business today. Now, obviously I always have stuff to do, but I, I find that the only way to motivate myself <laughs> to get work done is to put things on my list. And when those things on my list are done, I don't keep going on to the next day. I'm just like done. I'm done. And now I can do whatever, right? Okay, so what does that actually mean logistically for what is do whatever? This is time for me to, obviously I can just chill, play a game on my phone, play a game on my laptop, read a book, whatever. I may read my linguistics book, which is one of my current hobbies. I'm reading a linguistics textbook as one does because language learning is one of my hobbies. And I realized, you know what? I need to actually study this from a very high level of language learning and to understand linguistics and the theories behind things. And then I think I'll be able to approach language learning and customize it for myself in a much better and more efficient way. So it's just some learning more than one language at a time because I'm kind of into that. I enjoy how all the languages relate to each other. What a nice second. You know what I'm thinking about? I'm thinking about getting into my bed and laying down. I think that would be really nice. So I'm going to roll this window up partially because I don't ever want to have my windows completely down and I'm in the back because someone could come in and just like grab my purse or something. You know what I mean? So I'm going to partly roll down my windows to give some nice airflow without it being accessible. Lock my doors and then get the vaccine. So getting back here is an issue but on days like this where I have thrown some stuff on my bed that I'm planning to put in my storage unit or whatever. So I have to move those things out of the way. And I can completely not graciously climb back here. So I still don't really have room to lay yet because there's a bunch of stuff back here. But that's fine. I'm going to move the stuff out of the way a little. Now, 
I'm gonna have to put my legs on top of things because normally I wouldn't have all the stuff down here. When I'm going to sleep, I put stuff up front and pile it up there. But I don't feel like doing that with this second. So now I can <sighs> lay back and put my feet up, which is so nice, so nice. Oh my goodness, so nice. I'm really glad that the windows are tinted, especially for this. So when it is during the day and I decide to get back here, you cannot see in. You cannot see that I'm in here. <sighs> now, it'd be better if I didn't have all this stuff on my feet. <laughs> but that's just part of it is wool stuff that's drying, my towel that's drying, and then some of the stuff that is going to go in my storage unit on Sunday in a couple of days. Next time I go there. And then I have yeah, my bag. Just, yeah, some stuff is back there, but it is nice. I have this pillow here because there's this thing. This is like the seat goes up in here and, you know, so I'm obviously not gonna remove that. So I have a pillow that just stays there all the time um, because I've hit my knee on it a few times and it was not good. What's that guy taking a picture of? I need to go to the bathroom, so I have to climb out of the back of here and go do that. Also, the sun has actually come out for the first time in the day. It is 5.45 and we finally have the sun, which I'm not excited about it at all because now it's sunny and I have to deal with it. But anyway, now here's the awkwardness of me getting out of the back and coming up to the front. Okay. So I'm not gonna worry about putting anything away because I might go ahead and get back there again. But I'm gonna go to the bathroom at that little, at that bathroom over there. And so it looks weird. This is weird light on me. I'm gonna go like this. This is better. Okay, that's better light. So I am back in my car. I went to the bathroom. I haven't been filming for a little bit because I talked to my significant other on the phone for a while and then I FaceTime with my son for a while. So typically, I don't, I wouldn't say I talk to my son every day. It does depend on how busy they are and stuff like that. But they call me a lot and so we talk regularly on FaceTime, almost always on FaceTime. It's much more fun, right? Um, my significant other I, and I talk, I would say almost every day, unless one of us is like unplugged in some way, shape or form. And a lot of times, multiple times in a day. So that was, you know, an hour for one. And I think only about a half an hour for the other, but that was a whole bunch of time. But obviously I'm not filming that because I'm on the phone and also that would be weird. So it is 1853, so 653 and it's weirdly sunny, which is why I have this up because that's the setting sun over there. And I don't want the sunlight blasting on me at a huge amount of glare not interested in that. So I'm going to be sleeping down the road <laughs> where I'm planning. I've spent the night there twice. I'm hoping it's going to, no one else will be there tonight and it'll be fine tonight. It was a great place. It's actually not on the main road. It's just barely down the next road. And you kind of, it's kind of like around a corner, a tiny bit so it's not like line of sight. So I think it makes it less obvious. It was on I Overlander though. So it'd be able, other people would be able to find it. But the two nights that I spent, which were around 4th of July, there's no one else there. When I figure it's a lot of people who spend the night there, probably they would be there around 4th of July. So hopefully no one's there. It was also great because it was isolated enough that in the morning when I woke up at 6 a.m., I could just pee right there outside my car. And it didn't matter because there wasn't anyone at the same spot. So that was awesome. Because the state park state parks generally and the state park, the state beaches do not open until 8 a.m. So I can't use their bathroom. What I'll probably do in the morning is drive to the town, which is like just 15 minutes away. And the McDonald's opens at 6 a.m. So I'll go to the McDonald's, get a coffee and go to the bathroom. So that will be, that's my plan. But tonight it's only, as I said, a tiny bit before seven o'clock. They close this at sunset. So I wouldn't, 
leave until it's closer to sunset. I'm not horribly tired or anything like that. So if for some reason I get to my spot and it is taken or creepy or whatever, there are other places, spots I could try that are actually on the highway itself, but I'm iffy about that. And then I could, I could always just drive back to my usual spot, but I don't want to drive all the way there and drive all the way back. You know what I mean? If I could just spend the night here, that would be great. Now I will be not taking a shower in the morning, but you know, that's fine. Just one day. I'm just spending the test time by myself, so it doesn't really actually matter. I'm not going to really be around anybody except for when I go into McDonald's. Now, I will, like, brush my teeth, and I will give myself a once-over with wet wipes and, you know, change my underwear and stuff like that, but I am not going to be completely doing the full shower. I did wash my hair this morning. So what will I do the rest of the day? As I said, I got everything done on my to-do list, which is awesome and great. So... The rest of the day, I'm just looking at my to-do list again to see. Yeah. So the rest of the day is pretty much just me playing on my phone and reading my linguistics book and hanging out, which is nice because it's lovely, lovely weather. When it is less sunny, I will, oh, so glary. I will, you know, look at, see if there actually is going to be a sunset. It might. There's a lot of clouds out there. So I don't know if we'll get a, a real sunset, but maybe we'll see. One thing I did realize is that I need one more little snack. Um, I bought cashews yesterday and cashews are my favorite. So or they are a great snack because you have fat, salt, carbs, protein. Really, it really is a really great snack when I just want a little something to keep me through the night, you know? Okay, I went to the bathroom, threw away my garbage. Now I'm gonna go see if I can find a good place to park. Okay. Car turned off. Car is locked. Now let's put up window coverings. So no one can tell who's in here. Get the front one up and the two side ones that go in front. Those are the most important. Now, I will be putting up all my window coverings, but I'm just doing those for right this second because it's not really bright inside here that much, so people can't really see in that much. I will be covering up the other ones, though, at nighttime so I can have a light on in here, and even just this being open is effectively a light. So right now, all the windows are shut. I'm going to crack open the sunroof. As you can see, just have a crack. If it was somewhere where there's mosquitoes, this, that wouldn't be good. But here, there we go. That's better lighting. But here, I'm not super worried about that because I've actually spent the night here before and there was not a huge mosquito problem. Now, one thing that happened is, see all that? I had piled up all those books there. I forgot. In the meanwhile, that's fine. I'm not going to worry about it. So this is where I'm going to be for tonight. So it is 8.35. Normally, when I'm in town or many other places, I don't actually go to where I'm sleeping at 8.35 or before sunset, but I wanted to make sure that this spot was available so that way I could get it. And even if someone else came here, that'd be fine. I just didn't want to pull in with someone else already here. So I, I'm going to cover up the other windows, clean up the back, and then kind of do my evening routine, which really is just me watching YouTube videos or other things, chilling out, playing my games a little bit on my phone, whatever. And then at about an hour, I'll actually start actual real going to bed stuff. So back when I had my, I was living in my Honda Civic, I would not have parked in this spot because this gravel has huge divots in it and stuff that in this, no problem, don't even notice. But in the Honda Civic, might have been an issue. And I feel so, I mean, I didn't even turn on the X mode or anything. It's so easy to drive in this. I will eventually come to some road, some surface that is difficult, but I have not yet had that happen. 
made me nervous. There was a tr pickup truck with the lights on it that stopped kind of on the other side. And I heard a door and I was like, oh, is this somebody's land? They're going to come yell at me, but they left. So I guess it was nothing, <laughs> but... <laughs>